All right, people. Um, good morning. Hoping everybody doing well out there. Getting to what they getting to. Work week is about to get ready to start. You know what I mean? Um, like and subscribe. I'm new to this, so the energy and the introduction and all that stuff will be different as we progress. Right now, we definitely I'm working on like and subscribe. Um, I'm out on bail, my G. You feel me? I ain't begging for no donations. I ain't begging for nothing. But it sure would help. Yes, I work a full-time job and everything else. Staying out of trouble. But everybody need help. If you say you don't need help, it's billionaires that need help. People that get money, they get money from people that's giving them money. So in all reality, you need help. Now, Let's move on to the topic at hand. The Los Angeles Lakers, LeBron James, AD, Russell Westbrook, frontlining front lining and spearheading this new big three. Yeah. The new big three. Tough three. Now, the main subject of this all is... What free agents would they be going after? What this team is going to look like? How it's going to round out? I have. Eleven. Free agents. That are on the market right now. That the Los Angeles Lakers should go for. There's a few other ones. Can switch, switch and swap them out. But right now, more than half of these guys are going to be on the Lakers. You watch and see. Because these are the available free agents. And I know what LeBron is looking for. I know what the team needs. I knows this. I'm sliding. I'm sliding on your channel. You come slide on mine. Come slide on that boy channel. Um. By the way... This is Rich Boy Rob, a.k.a. Spooky Romance. Because uh, Spooky Romance is my alter ego. When we get to talking about relationships and real life type-ish. You feel me? Now, let's get to this list. They don't go in no specific order, but of course, I would put number one, Carmelo Anthony. Great score. Been one of the greatest small fours in the league for a long time. Kind of lackluster on defense. Kind of turned up on defense. Got more consistent on offense. Uh, got his mind right and started playing a role. Um, with OKC, uh, people thought he was washed up. He kind of got drugged around the league or whatever the case may be. Found himself with the Portland Trailblazers. Okay. Did pretty good there. Of course, they fizzled out because they ain't going to chuck up a thousand shots. Um, C.J. McCollum, he, you know, he's a good player or whatever, but he's injury riddled and he's really not that guy on defense. Dame ain't that guy on defense either. Okay. Number two, Dwight Howard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the shoulders, Howard. <laughs> Mr. Shoulders. Um, I think he would be a great fit once again. Um, of course, he's a um, free agent. Of course, we've seen um, the practice video of him uh, about a week ago or so, shooting threes, working on free throws and all that. That's his practice. And we ain't studying the three-point part, but I'm glad he's putting in work as far as conditioning and free throws. Um, he bring a lot of great energy. Of course, he bringing that defensive player of the year. He bringing that. Yeah, he defensive player of the year, man. He top five in defense when he get going. He and uh, he's in good shape. Um, I think it was a big mistake for us to let him go. I think it was a big mistake for us to let JaVale McGee go. But it is what it is. Matter of fact, I'm going to add JaVale McGee to the list. Slip my mind. JaVale McGee will be coming up next. He's a, he's a currently playing for Team USA right now. He got a few highlights. Um... um he is a good shot blocker, uh, very long, uh, strong. Um, 
I would say that JaVale McGee at one point in the league had almost fizzled out and had a lot of beef going back and forth with Shaq. Uh, you know, the whole Shaq and the food type of thing. He was on there all the time. Um, so, um, he, his IQ has got better. He hasn't gotten better athletically. I don't think he decreased, uh, declined athletically. I don't think uh, he's declined skill-wise. I think he's sharpened his skills, sharpened his tendencies, um, and stop doing the dumbass plays. Uh, number four would be Montrez Harrell. We need to get him back. Uh, defense, energy, things of that nature. He'll be good coming off the bench. Um, I think putting him in a starting role was a little much for him. And Dennis Schroeder, I think that that was a mistake. Um, you should have really looked at things a little bit better and invested your time into looking things better, looking at things better to see if he can go from six man of the year to really or six or candidate for six man of the year to a starter. Okay? He was good in his role with the Clippers as a six man slash kind of coming uh you know being a starter or whatever. But the Clippers is all messed up. They fe they feathers is all ruffled. Um, so nobody really got a solid role locked in there except for Serge Ibaka, Paul George, and Kawhi Leonard. Uh, we can move on to Jeremy Grant. Um, a good defensive player, athletic, can shoot the three. Um, his IQ still needs some work. Um, mid-range still needs some work. Finishing needs some work as far as laying it up and things of that nature. Uh, he will dunk on you, though, you know, give him that. A lot of guys would do that, so... So like I'm giving him something that everybody else got, but it is what it is. That's how I'm rocking. We giving you honest. We giving it to you straight like that. I'm feeding you straight applesauce through the straw, bro. If you acting like you acting like you can't eat, I'm still gonna give you this applesauce straight through the straight through the straw. Okay. Um. Jeremy Grant would be a good addition to play the three. It has some shooting. Has some defense. He can even do small forward and do some small ball lineups with kind of like LeBron, AD, um, Westbrook. You know what I mean? He can he can he, you can swip and swap him. He can do he can go four or five. If you run a small lineup and you're not really depending on him to be that interior force, and he can just give you decent defense on a perimeter, or he can give you def decent defense in the paint. And give you that good, close to lockup defense on the perimeter. He could be a great addition for the Lakers. Okay, let's move on to number six, Patty Mills. Good day, mate. He's a nutty. He's a nutty bars from three point range. He's a problem. You know what I mean? Look, I'm not this big a story in and all this and going crazy with. Like Stephen A. Smith and some of these other dudes, all the stats. I can sit here and go get the stats and count that off for every guy. But listen, you gotta, you can get all the information you want from somebody, but you have to be motivated enough to go get it yourself, so you can feel from fulfillment and you can feel like you're intelligent yourself. I can sit here and tell you all the stats. That stuff is on Google. It don't make me look intelligent or better than nobody else. So I want to tell y'all this. These blogs that's here give you all these stats. Some of them naturally do know them. Some of them have went and studied that shit off Google the day before, day of, whatever the case may be. Get on here, jumping on here, spitting out all these stats. Like, they really like that, and they really just know stuff. Stephen A. Smith, Skip Bayless, these dudes study, looking up new stuff, know everything. These dudes is really, <clears throat> they getting in the lab studying on some college professor type shit. You feel me? They in there like they college students studying the, the, the NBA, MLB, all the all the leagues, NFL, everything. They go stupid. I'm I'm trying to give you solid information, and I'm gonna build myself as far as what I know naturally to be able to express that out in spurts in these videos. But right now, I'm writing things down, making sure everything is the way it is, the way it's gonna be presented, the way it's gonna be organized. Patty Mills, great three-point shooter. Uh, he undersized on defense, but he hustled. Um, he could be a great system player because we know he come under Popovich, playing good for the Spurs. He can come off the bench. Um, he can give you a spark as a starter, but I wouldn't start him. 
Um, I would say he would burn out through the game because the way he plays so crazy, like, woo, woo, thousand miles per minute. So I would give, let him come off the bench. Uh, I think that him and THT would be a great Talon, Talon Horns Tucker, if y'all don't know who THT is. And he is an unrestricted, he's a restricted free agent or unrestricted, I'm not sure. But he's definitely a free agent of the Los Angeles Lakers. They need to be getting him back. Alec Burks. Uh, play for the Kings, play for the Knicks. Great three-point shooter, good on defense. Uh, showed a lot of promise a few years ago, things of that nature. Slowed down a little bit last year, but he's still in that range of a 3 and D um, mid-level exception type of guy that we can get um, that can play a good role and do good work because he's not going to be playing starter minutes. He's a bench player, but at the same time, like I said, you got 10, 15 minute type guy that's solid on defense and can shoot that three. He can be a threat. Uh, definitely when he catching passes from Westbrook and LeBron, a lot of these dudes can be a threat. You know that diamond badge always make you hit his swishing. They're going to give it to you right in that shooter's pocket. <laughs> Bang. Okay. Um, Tim Hardaway Jr. We know what he brings to the table. Um, unrestricted free agent, Dallas Mavericks, uh, Luka Doncic sidekick. Uh, catch and shoot type of guy. He's very similar to a Caldwell Pope or a Chris Middleton. Catch and shoot. He also a little bit play defense. Um, he can be that wing. Uh, you can depend on throughout spurts in the game. I think he's a very dependable wing, and I think he would be a great addition to the Los Angeles Lakers. Um, Taylor Horn Tucker. Horton Tucker. Taylor Horton Tucker. Oh, he's on the come up. He in the gym. He getting busy. I know y'all seen the, uh, the um, video. Putting up shots. Um, if he really get that. He's great at making plays and driving, slashing, things of that nature. Um, I think he's decent mid-range, but I think if he really take his game to the next level, being consistent with catch and shoot and just making moves off the dribble and shooting them threes, I think he can move into a starting role or very close to a starting role. Definitely something serious off the bench. Uh, Alex Caruso. We know what he brings to the table. The, both of these guys, Taylor Horn Tucker, Alex Caruso, Dwight Howard, uh, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Taylor Horn, Taylor Horn Tucker, Horton Tucker, Alice Caruso, and Dwight Howard. They all form NBA champions. Of course, from the, the second year, Los Angeles Lakers. They all got to let go. Here we go the third year. LeBron get injured. We fizzled out in the first round, so on and so forth. We all know the story. The guys that put out the king end up getting sent home too. You need to go uh, re get a refund for your son's jersey. You need to stop acting like you knew anything about fucking Arizona, but it was hot as hell, and it was Arizona tea was my favorite. It's the only thing I ever knew about no damn Arizona or Phoenix or any of that. But we off that. Alice Caruso played great defense, super athletic. <laughs> White man can jump, you feel me? <laughs> Mr. White man can jump. He will yam on your ass. Okay. Um, good energy. I believe that. He could move into a starting role if he showed more promise. Right now, I'm not sure. Um, keeping him in the cut for just in case he can go into a starting role or just being that energy off the bench. He's showing consistency doing that. Um, definitely uh, Taylor Horn Tucker. Taylor Horton Tucker and Alex Russo definitely need to be re-signed. They are fan favorites, and they are up-and-coming players that could go into a starting role or – command great trade value to get something else down the line if LeBron is trying to get that number six title um, because it's still going to be some, need some moves to be made right now. We have to kind of go with the flow because Westbrook is here, see what he bringing to the table, and seeing what we can build around him, AD, and LeBron. Um, the contract negotiation, things of that nature can be worked out and money can be allocated so we can have more money um, to do more things next year, but we just kind of in the bind and it is what it is this year. We kind of in desperation mode based on what happened last year as far as getting healthy, getting Ross filled out, 
finding that third guy. I think we we making moves in the right direction. Lake Show Ho, don't you know? Okay. Avery Bradley. Defense. Three and D. Um he won the chip. Of course he had side out or whatever that season with the Lakers. Um He won a chip, I believe, with the Miami Heat also. Okay. I'm not sure about that. It just kind of thought on this thought in my mind, like he was on the Miami Heat won a chip too, didn't he? Uh I don't know. I believe so. Avery Bradley, good three and D point guard, can play defense. Um, um his his IQ is sketchy, you know what I mean? Uh he's six he's six man of the year, uh potential type of guy. Um could he be a starter? I don't know. He was a starter at a time at a time in the league. Was he top five guy? No. But defense, hell yeah. He had that lockdown type potential like um Drew Holiday did on CP3. He could do those things probably too. Um, I think he'd be a good addition. Um just far as is he gonna be the starter or not? I mean, is he is he gonna play a pivotal role off the bench or is he just gonna come off the bench? Like, what we going to do? Uh, if Westbrook get too hot-headed or he get injured because he going 100 miles an hour, whatever the case may be, um, could he? Could could Avery Bradley be that guy that we bring in um, as a starter or until Westbrook come back type of guy? I don't know, but I think that's a viable option we need to pick up. Uh, lastly, Kent Bazemore. Um... A good 3 and D type of guy. We already had him. Um, he only played a couple games, I believe. Uh, we really didn't get a chance to really utilize him or things of that nature. I'm thinking that, that maybe that was just an anomaly and he's way better than I thought. And he just didn't get a chance to because so many things was going on with the Lakers with injuries and expectations of the starters. Dennis Schroeder, whack ass. Montrezl Hero did, was not that guy. Good player, you're not that guy. You're not starting material. You're not not in the late show. You're not. And same thing with Schroeder. Magic Johnson ain't pump faking. Magic Johnson ain't bold. He ain't that guy. You got Kyle Kuzma out of there. He ain't consistent. Not that guy. Go show it somewhere else. You blossom into something special over there. Fine. You didn't blossom at the late show. Gave you a chance. Maybe not as much chances as you thought you needed. But when LeBron AD was out in pivotal moments throughout the season and in the playoffs. Most of the role players did not fucking show up. I don't want to hear it. You lace them up, you're supposed to show up. You're getting paid, get your ass out of here. You're getting replaced. Um, I hope that these additions and this information, um, at least 75% of what I gave you is going to be in is going to come to is going to come into fruition as far as the Los Angeles Lakers and their roster filling it out. I think this definitely, like, maybe a good 90 or 80% of the guys that I mentioned are going to definitely be filling out that roster, and it's not, it's going to be a good roster. Westbrook is a triple-double machine. LeBron is a triple-double machine. They're going to pass the rock. Westbrook going to bring this infectious energy that's going to spread. AD already brings an infectious energy as far as defense. Now it's offense and defense. Westbrook on a fast break, LeBron playing the four, AD playing the five. You got whatever shooters, bro, that's a problem. You talking about Westbrook don't fit and all that. I ain't trying to hear none of that shit, Ticket TV or none of these other dudes talking about. Yeah, you call me a LeBron stand or whatever. Clearly, you see, I got the jersey too. I just got on the Toon Squad jersey or whatever today. I got the whole jersey that matched this. I'm, I'm all for LeBron, wherever he had, whatever he doing. Because I feel like he brought a lot to every community that he's touched. He brought a lot to the world. Um, he just brought a lot to the table as an athlete, period. But we off that. Uh, the main subject of this is roster fulfillment. Potential key free agents and restricted free agents. JaVale McGee, Carmelo Anthony, Dwight Howard, Montrezl Hero, Jeremy Grant. Patty Mills, Alec Burks, um, Tim Hardaway Jr., Taylor Horn Tucker need to be resigned. They currently in the discussions. 
Uh, Alex Caruso need to be resigned. You might as well say the White Howard need to be resigned because that whole anomaly with the Sixers was garbage. I don't know what he was doing over there. Dumb move. Should have stayed with L.A. L.A. should have made that work out. I don't know what the hell be going on in these organizations. Avery Bradley, Ken Bazemore. That's the list. That's what it is. Like and subscribe. Slide on me because I'm definitely going to slide on you. Slide on your channel. This Rich Boy Rob. Spooky romance when we talking about relationships and life in general. This is Rich Boy Rob. I'm out of here. Lake Show, don't you know, huh?